video number 27, whistling with the utilization of the vocal cords, imitation of guitars and trumpets. Welcome everybody. This is the tutorial video number 27 of the melodic whistling. We are pursuing the study of the melodic whistling with the utilization of the vocal cords combined to the whistling to perform some imitations of trumpets and guitars. Let's start with the trumpet. We have studied the buzzing style in which we wanted to feel as much as possible the vibes from the vocal cords on the lips. To make an imitation of the trumpet and other wind instruments of that kind, we are going instead to limitate the vibes on the lips. That is done by the control of the lips. We are going to put the lips more relaxed, which will limit the buzzing and approach the superposition of the vocal and whistling parts closer to a trumpet sound. Let's see and look if I can show you what I am meaning. The trumpet sounds may vary in the pitches in function of the sounds generated by the vocal cords and the correlation between the two pitches seems to be higher than with the case of the buzzing style. Now, let's study a bit the imitation of guitar, which, even though they do not incorporate a whistling sound in general, share, however, the articulation part used in some non-whistling techniques. To do it, one has to make a humming pitch and to use the already learned whistling techniques using the movement of the tip of the tongue. For example, by placing the tip of the tongue on the palate, we can rapidly remove the tongue while making a resonance as if we would imitate a bell sound. The nasal cavities are helping us to produce that resonance effect. Let's hear and see what it can produce in practice. This is ending video number 27. Thank you for the listening of this video. Let's have fun and let's start the music. <laughs>